what's up guys, PlasmaSnake13 here, back again for the third episode in my Minecraft Texture Pack Spotlight video. Whew, that's a big name. Now, if you have any questions before we start, like what a texture pack is, or how to install them, or how to fix them if they're going wrong, or any other questions, make sure to check out that first link in the description below. There you'll find all the answers in that video, plus maybe a little bit more that you didn't know. Uh, or you can send me a private message on YouTube, that's always the best way to get to me. Now, today we're going to be talking about f the photorealism pack, and this is a lesser known one that's really cool, maybe not just for, you know, playing with, but more of a potential to see what Minecraft can run. Now, this is going to be a little bit slow, as it is uh, a regular pack is 16 by 16, and that's what Minecraft runs on. Things like such as like the Doku Craft that I showed in my first episode was 32 by 32, and here I've got an example of a 256 by 256. So this is going to be a little bit laggy, but bear with me here. It's going to be a cool little experiment. All right, so now this is loaded. That took about <laughs> two minutes or so to load. Um, I've got a particularly fast computer, and this is something that not a lot of people will be able to run, but I'd like to show it to you now because it is very, very interesting here. And already I'm clicking the button to, for done, and it's taking a little bit, so this, this load up is going to take just a little bit longer than expected here. Already, though, you can see in the background as it's building terrain that that dirt background, you can already see it's quite intricate and quite real, and here we go. It looks a little bit weird at first, I'd like to admit, but just look around. I mean, look at how detailed everything is. From afar, it looks a little bit weird, but I'd like to show you an example here. If we walk up to the water, and we just look at it, look at how good that looks. You cannot tell me that that water does not look really, really good. Let me run you through some of the stuff that's going to happen here. We've got dirt and all our common items, such as grass here. We've got our wood, and uh, this is regular tree trunk right there. Look at how detailed that is. That is Wow. Uh, we've got bedrock and obsidian, lava, water. As you can see, water there again, even flowing water looks great. We've got all of our stuff, such as the explosives container, the bookshelf, which looks awesome. Uh, look at that uh, note block. That's, oh, and it even comes up with a treble clef. Uh, we've got dispensers and uh, chests and stuff like that. We've got some awesome uh, detailed <laughs> diamond helmet, chest plate, leggings, so on. Um, we've got our w tools here, which I admit do look a little bit weird, but um, I think they're supposed to look like that. Our uh, awesome crafting table here, which again looks just a little bit weird, but I, I don't really think of this as kind of a, a texture pack that I'd normally want to use, especially because this just looks like somebody took a picture, but it still looks awesome. It's not a texture pack that I'd use, but it's really great to show off the potential of Minecraft, especially look at this ore. This ore looks really, really great. I, I mean, I can't really see anyone who would look at this and go, ugh. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to play with it, but it's a great example of stuff that Minecraft can do here. So let me just fly over here and uh, show you guys an example of what it looks like in regular gameplay. Now... This is funny because we've got we've got the chickens that just look slightly more realistic here. If you're gonna look over here at the chickens, if they ever stop moving, they just look a little bit more like chickens. Our sheep here again just look a little bit different, um, but overall, it it looks really nice. The only thing that I notice is you'll notice that when as I move, it looks really really grainy. So maybe if they fix that, then they would be able to change. But even the wild grass looks fantastic. Um, it's definitely a great display of what Minecraft can really do uh, and perhaps look into the future of maybe more of an HD Minecraft uh, experience and maybe if people really fine-tune this kind of uh, t texture pack, this larger texture pack, then we could be seeing some really awesome stuff in the future. Uh, tell, me, tell me in the comments below what you guys think of this kind of stuff. Uh, it's more of a uh, concept texture pack than one that's actually practical like the other ones I've shown you. But I think it's cool all the same. Maybe you guys all think different. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, such as I mentioned in the beginning, like how to install a texture pack, what it is, how to fix it, etc., please check the description below. The first link there will take you to a video which will answer all your questions and more. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.